What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Railroads Online. My name is Evil One. I am joined today by Tidmouth. Say hi, Tidmouth. Hello. And Dolan. Say hi, Dolan. Howdy, everybody. So we're standing here at the output side of the sawmill. As you can see, the shadow of it is right there on the ground. That's uh, from up there. So uh, the sawmill has a bunch of product that they saw. They couldn't wait to get on those logs we delivered in the last episode. But there's no place to take them. They have a contract with the iron mine, but there's no rail, no way to get to it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But before we get started, Tidmouth has a bit of a surprise for us. Tidmouth, can you uh, show us and tell us all about that surprise, please? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I was a bit slower arriving here in Lake Valley than you were, obviously. Um, that's because I was helping move out the villages from Verticom Junction, uh, and they set up a new little town uh, just east of the lake. Just east of the lake. That's that way, I guess. Check the map. Yes, yes. over here someplace. You want to take trial over there and check it out? Yeah, let's go. Perfect. Are we gonna reverse that, or is it? Can we loop? Around? Oh, we got it. We got a loop here. We can. We'll take the loop and get some nice. firewood in this thing. Are we all on board? All right. Brake is off. Reverser is forward. We're gonna give it just a little bit of throttle. Is this thing gonna take off like a rocket? <laughs> if you give it the chance, of course. Well, we're still building some boiler pressure. A little bit here. That fire was really cold for a while. This bridge is where yep. they were scouting to set up. That's where I left them anyway. <laughs> he just left them to fend for themselves. Oh, well, they're used to it. Uh, done some building. Right on. Let's go check it out. Oh, a little bit of track here. So that means we can make a branch line off of this. Yeah. Is there an industry that leads this way by any chance? Bunch of trees here. Oh, nice. I really like it. Cool. So what is the name of this little village? I, I don't know whether they decided to keep the the original name or whether they were going to go for something new. I've not spoken to the, the mayor yet. Gotcha. Bike Run would be a great town name. Or River Run. I mean, there's a river right there. Yeah. Exactly, that would be perfect. Let's, yes. I wonder if an industry would like to be here as well. What all industries do we We have at least all of our in industries we need, right? No. Well, no. No, we don't, actually. We're missing I some really big ones. Right. We haven't even made it to the coal mine yet, so of course they haven't built the iron works. Nope. Very cool. Good job, Tidma. Thank you. Alrighty, well, shall we try to connect the iron ore mine to the sawmill? Yes. Perfect. I do think we should also add a little junction just to get over here. 
But Dolan, if you'd like to work on that, I mean... Or Tidmouth, or, or... I don't care. I'm gonna go to the sawmill and start working there. Before I get too excited with this... 435. I'm gonna drop a... Products, so I know right, right where to make it. Right there. Perfect. Yeah, I noticed you at the logging camp again. I was, just, I was watching you place the rail, I was like, that's way too close. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be if that's too tall. You know oh, what I mean? Lord. I've got a. Uh, I really. It might be alright. Push down to shove, build it the other way so it's low down. Yeah, but well, we got a rise up here because uh, that this hill. I mean, the groundwork raises the track a bit off the ground anyway, so you got a little bit of play. Right. This is the one. This is the one thing trouble I, I had to like place in the industry. It's like there's big flat areas, but they're not flat enough. <laughs> it's like little lumps in the terrain that just sort of make things a bit difficult. Right. What do you think, Tedma? Should we grab a a flat state car and just place on this track to test it before we build a bunch of track or? You think we should just lower it down preemptively? Uh, yeah, I can grab one. Perfect. All right, Tidmouth, I am here. Let's try and test this out, see if our height is good. I think it should be, because it dropped fairly high height. Oh, yeah, we're, we're golden. Yeah. We are golden. So what oh. y'all working on? Just building we're, a line? Yeah, it's uh-oh, uh we got to stop this. There we go. I got it. <laughs> Great. Now what? <laughs> we, we got this car stuck right in the way. I'm going to... I'll re-rail it just down the line here just a little bit oh come on uh, do you want me to go to the iron ore mine and build back towards you we'll try and meet in the middle sure hang on one second I'm trying to grab this there we go so I don't know if you noticed the line that I made up to this bridge I put in another switch basically I'm just going to make a loop back to that switch and then I was thinking about like a big Y way back there. I'll run with you. Let's keep going. I can kind of show you what I was thinking. So the loop off the output side will link into the switch that's coming up on us. And then I was thinking at this area right here, wiring it off to the left to go to the iron ore mine, which is kind of that direction and then ha yeah. have this like a big Y so way back here where it starts to bend we'll keep that line going straight and then that will go up to the uh, oil field if that makes sense It'd be like a big Y like really big and we can do that yeah, yeah. perfect okay well, I'll make my little loop if you want to head to the mine I will um, I'll, we'll meet in the middle somewhere Okay, so now we got to come off the end of this bridge fairly tight.
You think 43 degrees is uh, too tight of a curve? Yes. Are you being facetious? Uh, no. I think I think 30. 30 is definitely the tightest. But obviously, because it's as far as you can go. Unless you turn off the circle tool, then you can go actually just a little bit farther. But I think 40, a 44 is like the highest or the lowest I'd want to have any curve. Okay, well I made it at 42 because I needed some extra space around it. Fair enough. And I'm up against the hillside, so it, it is going to have to be what it is. Well, I'm going to shallow it up to 50 degrees, or 15 meters. My water tower has great placement, but I just should have waited. How is there a swamp on a hillside? This is totally a little hill. It's all muddy. That is weird. Hey, not judging. <laughs> Then what's life? What's that? Could have been a mudslide, so like the hillside's like slipped down. So we don't get this switch confusion. Dork. Well, I'm happy to report the uh, broken switch links for clients. It's still alive and well. Oh, fantastic. What a time for that. to reiterate to our viewers the reason why there's so much silence is because we are all extremely busy building track and are focusing on that instead of commentary. I do apologize. Trust me, guys. It's not because we don't want to talk to you. The main reason I don't do videos on my own because I know it would just be like... Absolute silence for 90% of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Mine would be time lapses. <laughs> yep.
been on the map. It looks like we are. I was just looking at that. Like I'm pointing right towards kind of the <laughs> low spot after that hill that's coming down from your right. That tapers down. I'm pointed right towards that. Yeah, I was going to say I need to curve left a little bit to avoid the hill. Yeah. All right. Start heading your way. I get across this swamp. My swamp. All right, I said I would not do that. <laughs> what are you doing in the swamp? <laughs> okay. God, I'd love to strike movies. I think I see you. Are you jumping? Yep, you're jumping. Where's your track? Uh. Oh, we're not horribly off on height. I don't think. I'm dead straight here. So. Yeah, I was gonna say I might widen this curve a little bit. Found a floating rock. Yeah, I've been finding a lot of those in trees. Nice. Yeah, this one's in a tree, too. Actually, I think it's... You probably already know about this one. It's the one on the line going up towards the iron mine. No. Oh. Towards, oh, yeah. the, iron, towards the iron mine? Or the logging camp? Logging camp. There we go. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, it's like where that little bridge section is. I'm gonna come to you, Tidmouth. Alright, let me try and figure out my rail here. Okay. Our height looks really good. I'm at zero. Are you at zero? Yeah. at zero? There, there's a one percent bit down, and um, this is a not, not a uh, like half percent up, just because you look like you were quite high up. So. Oh, okay. Well, I'm at zero, and we're pretty much there. Like I'm putting the track underneath your feet right now, and it's like the exact same height. So I'm just gonna go, and mm -hmm. I'm at 120 meters. I'm gonna take it out and put it, in, uh, take it out of circle mode, and connect it. We'll see what kind of wiggly that does. A little bit of a wiggle in it, but not too bad. Well, we could probably fix that. You know, if we come all the way back to your straight bit here... Sorry, Dolan, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying to figure this out. Oh, I'm actually just talking to myself, so don't worry about it. Oh, perfect. Okay, um, if we come all the way back here to your last <laughs> little bit of straight... We could probably make this like one giant sweeping curve. You know what I mean? Possibly, if you'll let you build something that length. We just gotta figure out what that, whatever radius that is. Uh, I haven't changed my, my radius. I was building at 170. 170, okay. I connect to you at 120 ish. So, let's split the difference. I'm gonna delete this track. Is that alright? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Wow, I screwed that up really bad. Okay, let's try that again.
Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I just got sent to this moon. <laughs> did I did I fly over top of you? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I saw, I saw the freight depot plot line <laughs> moving across the map. <laughs> just... Jesus Christ! What did I miss? <laughs> I could have had a train, I just went straight oh, up. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh, did I boot you up? No, it wasn't you. I was cutting down trees and he just launched me. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Because I came screaming by with the uh, freight depot to catch, yeah. up, to catch up to you. So I was dragging it along the ground. <laughs> uh, are we having issues connecting over here? Bidmouth? Is that why this is undone? Yeah, I, I, I couldn't link to that switch. Perfect. I can like that. Wait. Am I done? Is it all logged? Uh, it should be. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna jump in risk here and get it warmed up. We're gonna have to get to the coal mine real soon because we have a locomotive that burns coal. No way to refuel it. Building up the fire and the water temperature here, so we still have some boiler pressure. We're gonna back up. Versus back, break off, give it everything. Start working down that boiler pressure. I'm so sorry, say that again. So I'm gonna check the logs on your section because I know what you're like. Please do, thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> Tidmouth, if you're at that main Y, uh, looking at logs, or for trees, can you make sure that my switches are set coming from the by track? I, I did glance at them. I think they're going towards the uh, loading track. I'll double check. Perfect. Uh-oh. I just lost a caboose for some reason. What else did I lose? Did you... I think the link broke. Was the caboose attached? Because I did pinch the wagon from right in front of it. Oh, that's why. Gotcha. That's right. Oh well, the caboose can stay back behind. I'm not gonna waste the time.
<laughs> awesome. I love it. There, about there. there. Yep. Perfect. Uh, I don't know how many cars we got here. Got uh, 18 minus 1 is 17. So we'll load that half and half. That's not yep. good. Oh, I did notice when you were pulling in, I think you've got the client render distance turned, uh, turned down. Oh, really? Well, let me just fix that right quick and in a hurry. Oh, you know what? Before I do anything, I am saving it. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> Especially with the crash earlier. All right. Uh, graphics? Under graphics? It's, uh, it's just gameplay, I think. Gameplay. Oh, yep, there we go. 500. Oh, well, you know what? We're going to turn on some random weather. And turn on the day night cycle. And we're gonna make this. What should the day length be? Like uh, 20? I'd say 20 and then like 10 for night. That works. There we go. Let's set the weather random at 400. So it won't change every time we blink. Alright. Well, it seems Risk is handling this curve well, just fine. Uh, but Wait, I just, I just thought about the day and night cycle. Isn't it at like increments of a hundred or something like that? Um, I set twenty and ten. It was set to twelve. I think it's set like hours. That was a good spot, right, Tidmouth? Uh, we're loading both cranes. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be fun, right? Yeah, building the front of each car. Perfect. Uh, so we got, we've got... 18 cars, that would be 9 and 9, wouldn't it? Yeah, but we only have 17, that's... since uh, one is now a prop. And I love it there. So... <laughs> <laughs> we'll to make that sacrifice. Are we good? Uh, yeah. So we can do like, I don't know, eight and nine or something like that. Yeah. One cut. Oh. Good? Yep. Perfect. Well, maybe a touch forward actually. Yep. Yeah, about that. Are we good? Cars. Yep. Is that that was the last car, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. Perfect. All right. Let's go. Uh, break off. Whistle, whistle. All ahead. Whoa. Yeah, uh, probably put the light on it, it's getting dark. Yeah. Did anybody get my Polar Express reference? Love the, uh, that generator sound. It's pulling up. No, no takers on the Polar Express no. reference? Okay. No. <laughs> it's been way too many years since I've watched that movie. I'm ashamed to say. Dude, I love that movie. I got it for Christmas one year, believe it or not. And I don't know. It's just a movie that sits well with me. I'll I'll watch it on cable TV because man, I missed having cable TV because I've been staying with my parents the last couple weeks. And I can just say, cable TV is such a beautiful thing. 
it's nice when you can just watch whatever you want when you want. But it's also nice when you can just you just have to watch with on TV. It's more of like a nostalgic feeling for me. Oops. Because like found the wrong way. Yes. <laughs> yes we are. <laughs> I'm full break. It's gonna take a minute to stop this train. <laughs> Are we zooming? We zooming. 21 the miles an hour. Were, the tracks were built for zooming, right? Yes. Good. Oh, it's so pretty. I've got a clip. I'll, I'll send the clip later, but I'm just kind of watching the... The scenery go by. And... My frame rate's like above 60. So, like, it's just super buttery smooth. I keep seeing these little bushes. Yeah. Giving me heart attacks. Oh, yeah, be careful because some of them will derail you. Well, they weren't removable, so, uh. <laughs> oh, I think the ones that aren't removable won't derail you, but there's some that are small that are removable that will derail you. Mm -hmm. I know rocks will derail you, too. Oh my god, is it raining? It is. It's been raining. Oh, I just noticed. So, in this area on my Lake Valley save, I've got a logging camp, my smelter, and there's an under, another industry in that general area. I think oh boy, we field. are coming in hot. <laughs> oh, the iron mine literally was not that far away. Oh, what? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. On that curve. Yeah, this is the general area on my map where I've got my, um... My smelter. Uh, I'm not gonna bother trying to unload at this speed. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. And make sure you join my company, too. Uh, Alright, next one's like three cars ahead. Full send. That's what got us fired in Pine Valley. <laughs> well, no, as long as we don't cross an accident, we should be fine. They might keep us around because it, it kind of did help build up their their town. That they all left and followed us to Lake Valley, which is way better than Pine Valley. Just saying. Exactly. Of, they fired us. Better. of course it's better. They fired us even one. Of course it's better. <laughs> I think the day night cycle needs to be lengthened just a lot. <laughs> It's <laughs> starting to become light again. <laughs> Does the iron mine come pre-placed with the mine carts and stuff like that, or do you have to place that yourself? No, it comes pre-placed. Oh, that's cool. Hmm? I know, I never noticed them at Pine Valley before. That's because I don't think they were there before. Oh, are we good? Yeah, all right, yep. that's all of it. All right. I'll run over here and... Take a look. Yeah, I think that the the stone building that it's standing on, I think they must have added that recently, because that wasn't there when I built mine. Oh. I had to do that all myself. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah, I noticed that too when I was working with Milsey Save. One day of me running the thing, it was like that. And then the next, it was the new thing. Huh. Yeah, I placed this right after that live stream that we did with with Milsey. And it was it was like this. Hmm. Yeah, because I knew there was a patch that day we did the live stream. Huh. It's a very quick one. But... So it looks like the Iron Mine now has 120 out of 290. That's great. And it's probably just about out of product here. And no lumber and six beams. That's great. Uh, they are now up and running and producing. The problem that we have now is I just heard there's no place to take the, the iron ore. So it sounds like we need to have a smelter built in Lake Valley somewhere. So, but that's going to be for the next episode. Uh, we want to go check out the new town. The towns folks, see how they're getting along? Yes, so we, should, we should take awesome. the train. You want to take the train? Yes, let's go back to the sawmill and we'll take trial. Okay, um, I'm down for that. Probably get cold again. Probably. Uh, Somebody else want to drive? I'll take it. Awesome. I'll ride the back. Uh, there's no switches that need changing. Uh, no, there shouldn't be any switches that need to be changed, right? Going back to where we came from. Oh, yeah, yeah the, the one for the loop set, so we've should be alright. A few moments later. You're still slightly cold, but it'll be okay. Alright, I wasn't looking at the uh, amount of fuel I had in there. I could have been running cold when I was in the train. 20 minutes later. It's a point, actually. I just thought we need to uh, get to the coal mine sooner rather than later because otherwise uh risk will run out of fuel eventually yeah i just talked about that a few minutes ago eventually oh shoot i thought uh okay i thought we were gonna take risk i'm still at the iron ore mine waiting to go <laughs> i was wondering you said you were at the back of the train and then <sighs> Oh my gosh, I just teleported here. <laughs> you might as well just teleport to the village, you're like most of the way there now. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I, I, yeah, I did. That's exactly what I did. I suppose you can, you can, you can fly, can't you? You've got the, uh, I could fly, I just teleported. It's tool. fine. Uh, well, yeah, I'll just fly to you. How about that? I do need to build a Y. Well, shoot, there you guys are. Oh, there's a flying. Oh, great. Now I'm down here. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> Man, I, we're bored. I thought you were waiting for the locomotive to warm up. I'm sitting there on risk waiting. <laughs> so, to our right is the little fishing dock that I built. Yeah, I, oh, like, I that. like that. It's pretty cool. I'm going to bring trial to a stop. Okay, so where does this Y in at? It doesn't weigh in at all. So, when you're coming down from the, you would have to virtually go all the way to the the logging camp, turn around, and come back this way. And then you would hit that branch, the little junction that's up a ways. There's a there's a telegraph office you can teleport to. I haven't thought of a Y situation just yet. We'll probably get one, but not sure when. Sorry, I'm like, there's trees growing up around all these lines here. That's not very good. All right, there we go. Ew. All right, sorry, go ahead. Okay, so, so I see the see the Y or the the, the switch. Yeah, you, you would go up all the way to the logging camp, turn around and come back down. Okay. So when you f you'll follow the line from that uh, from that switch down into town, 
then there is a switch outside of town, just slightly, where you would have an area to back down onto a siding if need be. Okay. So that siding could just be, you know, if they ever add NPCs in game and they want to give us the ability to bring stuff to locations for whatever reason. And then a little farther on, there is, you got your signs and stuff along the rail. You got your fencing along trying to keep people out nice. of this general area because you don't want them, you don't want them to run into a train. Sure. More or less, where the train's sitting there. Not like anybody's just going to purposely jump the fence and immediately go face first to a rail car. No, people back then had more common sense than they do today. Yes. So That is true. So you would follow this line after this switch. Awesome. I like it. But the townspeople, they have to vote on this. They can't just erect up the company. You know, like, bring it from... Well, they just can't just put it there. The way I think Lake City, the Lake City Association of Industries Incorporated work is, you know, they there's a need for the industry and they need to build the industry. And here is a bunch of people that are willing to be workers to work at the industry. So it would okay, be who I... of them to build it nearby and, you know, put these people to work. I'm sure these people would okay, love to have a good job. So... So, as a passenger coming down stairs, that's not very good. <laughs> you just come walking down these stairs and like do 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 bonk stop. That's a problem. Yeah, let's say uh, switch out this platform for the one without the stairs on the end. I guess <laughs> I could do that or uh, relocate the the water tower. That might be easier. Honestly, they're trying to get that platform all lined up. This is good. So we, we've got the town here, and we've got like the industrial hub on the other side of the river. Yeah, we could always have like a, a like a small local service bringing the workers from the town into the like the industry area. There you go. Like first train in the morning, just as well as bringing the, the uh, freight cars down. It's also got a, a coach at the front. <laughs> awesome. And see those little rail signs I put. You could uh, you could tie your little boats to it. Yeah. If they had boats in the game, I think boats would be cool. Boat that might be a little challenging for the people to get out to the lake with a boat, given that there's a big uh, rail rail crossing right there. Hmm. It's pretty low to the water. So... We could raise it up just a little bit. Yeah. If need be. I mean, it's not like we're going to get boats at any time soon. That's so. strange. That's a I was different... going to say, we could use a cart for a boat, but it places it on top of the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 hang on. Don't delete that. I got to see that. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> My boat, guys. <laughs> Well, I think that's going to do it for this one. The, the townspeople, uh, they're pretty excited mm. to be here in, in Lake Valley. Uh, the sawmill is pretty happy. They got a customer. It's paying them some good money. Speaking of which, we now have $3,326. And uh, we got the coal mine up and running. The next step, though, we got to do something with all that ore. So hopefully something will happen soon with the uh, Lake Valley... Association of Industries Incorporated. Hopefully they can get something like a smelter or something erected nearby. We can transport all of that ore out of the mine too. And they can start making their products. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Uh, Dolan Tidmouth, you guys got parting words of wisdom? Super excited for what is in store for us with this save. It's really fun what we've done so far and I loved adding on to the town that was already here. And of course, the, the townspeople they brought up because they wanted to join us on our journey to the new land. That's very true. Tidmouth, you got anything? I was just going to make the the usual plea, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Uh, 
and definitely be sure to keep an eye on my channel because I've got some interesting stuff coming up over the next couple of months. Ooh. So, uh, I'm I'm excited. Yeah, I'm gonna echo what Tidna said. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and go over and check out the Discord. We're putting the save game files over there now. Uh, you feel free to download them. You can play on this map uh, as we have it here right now. So uh, check it out. We got a lot of stuff going on over there. And with that, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.